You don't want to help me clean the patio? I don't know why not. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to start working on the patio right behind me. It still has some of the Hi. winter slash Christmas elements from earlier. Did you bring me my drink? I got it for inside. Thank you, bud. I'm okay, my glasses, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, you need your sunnies right now. It's pretty bright out. He's so sweet, he's always delivering random things to us throughout the day. Anyway, I've got some winter pillows and I even have the little evergreens with lights on them from earlier and some branches and, and greens that still look amazing. Did you get your glasses? Hey Benjamin, good deal. Are you, are you, gonna, you wanna lap it up like a dog? You know you're not supposed to, huh? Benjamin. So things aren't looking too bad up here. I mean, I really want to address the window boxes. We'll remove the ivy that's been in here for two years and I'm ready for something new. It's getting quite gangly as well. And then the ornamental kale or cabbage rather has seen better days. I would like to leave the boxwoods because I love that structure. And I like the fact that it adds some winter interest but it doesn't take away from any of the view you can see from inside. Um, so anyway, I just need some short things. So we need to head down to the garden center. I dealt with spider mites on these boxwoods really badly. See all that damage? Horrible. But I was really diligent about spraying them last season and they even put on some new growth. So I'm hopeful that they will rebound and start fluffing and filling in a little bit. I've got winter themed pillows still on the benches. They've got trees on them, like Christmas trees. Thankfully they weren't like in red and green. That way I could get away with leaving them through winter. And then I've got to remove these evergreens which they're still in their nursery containers inside those pots and then the Christmas lights of course. I let those roll a little bit longer than I normally do. And Benjamin, did you find some snow in the shade? I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave those urns or not. They still have branches and greens from this winter which the greens still look almost as fresh as day one. I sprayed them with that wilt stop. And then the blue spruces, these are meant for the new property. And I'm gonna be sad when the, those leave because I really like the structure up here. I wish they stayed smaller, but they'll get like 40 to 60 feet tall and 20 feet wide. Much like this one right here. They'll be majestic and gorgeous. <laughs> and then this view right here is about ready to change <laughs> quite a lot quite drastically. All right, bud, I gotta go get some flowers. All right, here we are. So these carts are always full of some fun stuff. There's more of the minnow daffodils that I bought for the pots that are in the greenhouse. There's some tulips, primrose, lots of bright color. Let's head down. I kinda wanna look at everything before I make any decisions here, cause that's just the fun of it. There's some hellebores which we might need for the two pots flanking the door. Definitely not probably for the window boxes. I think those would kind of take over the boxwoods. More primrose here. Oh gosh, they're so pretty. I like that color. Really bright. And here's pansies and violas. I am always such a sucker for this one right here. This is a penny, viola penny primrose bicolor right here. I just love the yellows in the spring and I like these too. They're so cheerful. All right, let's go check out the greenhouse. I'm not sure that they have anything in there right now and they're probably expecting a new load. I bet you probably like right after I leave or uh, sometime tomorrow. So anyway, there's some ferns in that greenhouse right there. I've picked up a couple of those earlier on. Ooh, I think I see a bunch of hellebores in this greenhouse. Oh my. Ooh, look at this, you guys. Oh, it smells good in here. It always smells good in a greenhouse. Look at how beautiful. That one's really nice. That's called Love Bug. It's kind of a bicolor cream and blush pink. Spring Party. What is that? HGC Merlin. That is a beauty. Look at that gorgeous thing. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go look in the big greenhouse. Ooh, those little lollipops might be cute in the two pots by the door. Except they're some type of an Alberta spruce though, huh? 
Yeah. Hmm. They sure are cute though. Oh, not a ton going on in here. Looks like some pansies, some anemones, some iris. These are nice. Nice little pop of color, a little white. Oh, there's some scents. Silver King, Red Heart, Black, and Jade Rose. I do think those two lollipops would be perfect for those containers though. I really do. I think that the um, scale is just perfect. Okay, so maybe those surrounded by some hellebores. Yes. I think I'm just gonna grab a cart and start loading it up with some things. Typically I load it up with a bunch of stuff and then I reassess at the end and decide what things I really wanna keep and what things will stay here. You found me! <laughs> Do you know how to get into that? Of course. Nana taught you, huh? Found a couple of lollipops I'm gonna put in those pots by the balcony door. Oh cool, that'll be nice. Yeah, they're the perfect scale. In fact, you can see them right by the pineapple fountain. Okay, so now I think I'm just gonna run around and grab some things and kind of kind of hope for the best. I might not tackle the window boxes just yet. I might wait until they have a few more bulbs um, on hand, like pre-forced, pre-planted bulbs, because I kind of imagined a bunch of daffodils, like the little ones, um, um, right below the boxwoods, but I'm just not sure. We'll see. Train, you better run! <laughs> Gotta run and see the train. What do you think of my selections? I think they're amazing. <laughs> so I just like looking at that right there. Look at how pretty all those are together. that the most glorious load of flowers? I love it. Like I kind of just want to leave them all lined up right here. They're going to be beautiful, but I had intended on fitting these spruces and the hellebores in the same containers and I don't think it's going to happen. I think the root balls are too big. Like we've got that root ball right there and then these are one gallon size, but typically hellebore root balls are really tough to manipulate and they don't really like to have their roots manhandled too much. So I'm gonna start with these containers right here. So we'll see how it goes. I may just get these two planted and possibly the two urns. I'm not sure that I got enough matching stuff to do window boxes today. That's okay, we'll just save some fun stuff for another day. Let me show you real quick. So I did burlap around the nursery container and just sunk it right down in the pot so I didn't actually have to plant these spruces knowing they were only gonna be in here for the winter time. It worked out really well. All right, now for the fun part.
right, let's take a look at how these turned out. I really like the mix of color. I was able to utilize some of the ivy from the window boxes in these containers. I think I used four in each pot. I cut them back quite hard, but I think that they'll flush more growth here once we get a little bit warmer. They should fill in beautifully, as will all of these spring flowers. I mean, all of these will get a lot bigger and a lot more full of bloom. And I just love the purple and yellow violas mixed with these giant yellow pansies. I mean, look at how huge these blooms are. And then the light blue primrose. It's just a really pleasant, beautiful spring mix of color. And then these lollipops are nice because they can really stay in here indefinitely. There's cheddar and there's the second one. I have not cleaned the pillows up yet, nor addressed the broken wreath, but I did get the window boxes cleared out. I'm going to tackle cleaning those right now. So they're pretty dirty and stained. We'll see how that goes. One of you guys actually sent me this. It's been a little while. I haven't tried it out yet, so we're gonna try it today. But you said that it was an amazing cleaner and it should take the stains off of these window boxes, which I'm hoping it does. We are still planning on having our house painted this spring because we've got a lot of areas where there's just big stains that I can't get off. Um, there's a lot of peeling paint, a lot of damage like to the front porches where water, rainwater or snow or whatever settles, like a lot of low spots that we're gonna have fixed because I think if we don't, we'll pay for it later. Um, we don't wanna create any structural issues because of water. And then we have a lot of damaged shutters and things like pieces of shutters missing and, and big yeah, pieces of paint peeling off our fascia boards. Anyway, I can't wait for that. But when we do that, I think we are going to remove all but three of the window boxes on the lower level of the house. So I think we're gonna leave these two and then the one on the kitchen window. Um, just because that'll eliminate one, two, three, four, five, six window boxes. That takes an enormous amount of plants and it takes, you know, it takes time. And I think eventually we would like to have a wraparound porch around the bottom of this house and having window boxes does kind of narrow down the walkways along the sides of the house. So eliminating window boxes on the sides will help with that, make it feel a little bit more roomy. But up here, it doesn't matter as much. However, where I was going with that is I am thinking I'm going to either order some different window boxes that are a little bit more decorative um, now that I'm only doing three and I'm thinking that we're gonna go black with them instead of doing white but for the time being we're just gonna clean these up and see how it goes all right you can see the staining right there you're supposed to get the sponge wet I've got my water over here okay what does it say uh, let's see. Wet the sponge. Swirl on the Euro scrub Scrubby Cleanser. Swirl. Okay. Start cleaning. Okie dokie. Not too shabby. Holy moly. Well, that's not too bad, is it? That looks pretty darn good. <gasps> wow. Oh my word. Why didn't I use this stuff sooner? It's amazing. Oh my goodness, I am impressed. So look at the old part, see all the staining? I mean, it's dirty clearly, but even if I wipe it with a paper towel, you can still see all that brown staining and I've tried magic erasers and bleach and lime away, all kinds of stuff. I don't know why I didn't get this out and try it sooner. All right, here you go. That's what it is. Dang, I'm gonna keep going. My goodness look at how clean that is ignore the back side of it I'm gonna get a little broom back in there first because there's some cobwebs and stuff and then I'll reach back in there and clean that off but whoa I am just so impressed and before we lose light here are the other two containers whether or not I keep them here is still up in the air but they look pretty for now and there's no way I'm gonna move them by myself so I figure well I had plants to fill them so may as well um, so I ended up using three hellebores 
and seven of the pink primrose and then a few of the red twig dogwood because without those without that height i was kind of missing it it was a little bit sad without them and i'm just loving it i love how the pink of the primrose brings out the pink in the hellebores and it all goes it just is so pretty there's still quite a bit I need to do up here. So I'd like to fill the window boxes with some spring color. Um, I'd like to either get new wreaths, spring wreaths, or fix the ones that are there and then spring pillows and maybe like a bright blanket or something like that, um, just to bring a little bit more color up here. I mean, there's opportunity to put more containers if I decide to do that, or I can take these urns right here and put them somewhere else. I don't know, it's just fun to do it a little bit different every single year and move things around because it freshens up the stuff that you have. Um, if you've had a container in the same spot forever, try moving it somewhere else or to a different doorway or a different entryway. And it kind of brings a new, it brings new life to it and brings new life to this space as well. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of just fun to go down to the garden center. I hadn't really planned on doing this project today, um, but the weather was working out so beautifully. It's feeling a little chilly now, but it was sunny and it, it was kind of still. It wasn't very breezy and I just wanted to do something out here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're having a great day and we will see you in the next video. Bye.